This is an exciting day, a day of celebration of so many things. And one of the things that we celebrate today is the baptism of Gloria. Now we baptize people in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. God the Creator, God the Redeemer, God the Sustainer. These are the waters of creation. These are the waters of the dangerous flood. The water that the people of God walked through to freedom. These are the waters of Jesus' baptism. They'll be the waters of Gloria's baptism, the waters of your baptism, and so much more. There was once someone who did such amazing things and said such wonderful things that people began to follow him. And as they followed, they wondered who he was. Once when they asked him who he was, he said, I am the light. The Holy Spirit goes where it will. Like a dove, it rides the invisible wind, and it comes to us when we need its comfort and its strength. When we baptize a person, we ask them or their parents some questions. We say a prayer for them, as we have been praying for you this morning, and then we are ready. So I ask you, Tanya, what is the name of this child? Gloria. Gloria meaning glory, meaning glorious. Yeah, I know. And I'm going to ask your mom a couple of questions. Tanya, do you believe in God, creator, source of love and life? Do you believe in our Redeemer, Jesus the Christ, who shows us the way of compassion and hope? And do you believe in the Holy Spirit who sustains us with comfort and power? Forever, wherever one is, the three are one. If so, please respond, I do by the grace of God. Now, you have been involved in our community for a while, so you kind of know what you're getting into when you say, when I ask if you'll join with this church family, loving and serving our neighbors as we celebrate God's presence and share in God's work, if so, please respond, I will, God being my helper. And God, parents, we're grateful that you're here representing this community. And so I ask, will you pray for your Godchild and take care that there's room for them to share with you their questions and their faith? Will you encourage them as they walk with God? If so, please respond, I will, God being my helper. Church, that's all of us, will you please stand? Rise in body or in spirit. You've heard the promises of Tanya and Gloria. And so I ask, will you commit yourselves to supporting and nurturing this family within a community that loves and serves in Christ's name? Will you live out this calling to be a loving community in Christ? If so, please respond, we will with God's help. We will with God's help. These waters, Gloria, oh, they're nice and cool today. This, these are the waters that I baptize you in the name of God, the Father, our Creator, in the name of Jesus, the Son, our brother, in the name of the Holy Spirit who sustains us. And I mark you with the sign of a cross, and I claim you as Christ's own forever. And all the people said, Amen. Amen. Will you come with me? We're going to just walk to the back. Yeah. Want to hold hands? All right.
I welcome you by name so that you will know who you are. I welcome you in Christ's name so that you will know whose you are. I welcome you. Look around. Don't miss it. They're giving you some love. I welcome you to this family of faith, which will make room for you to learn and grow. Well, I can't quite imagine Gloria's spark getting any brighter But we believe and we have lit this candle in honor of Gloria becoming part of this community and her light of Christ getting just a little bit bigger. And I don't know, Gloria, maybe you want to help light other people's candles because our circle of friends is getting bigger even than one more person. We're gaining a whole new group of friends. So our light as a community of faith is growing bigger and brighter all the time. So I'm going to light this from our Christ candle. the light of Christ so that we can go out of this place into the world filling our communities with the light of Christ. So I'm going to show you a little bit of magic. I'm going to change my light and watch what happens while you change your light. You ready? Do you see it? It's growing, it's spreading, it's filling our room with the invisible light of Christ, which goes with us wherever we go, wherever we are. Thanks be to God.